Hello guys, Rod here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising weekly tarot reading for March 4th to March 10th uh, 2019. <clears throat> so while I'm shuffling the cards, which are going to be, by the way, the traditional Reader White Tarot deck, radiant version of it, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a general reading for Scorpio Star Sign. And for that reason, uh, this reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different Scorpio. Now, if you want a uh, <clears throat> more personal touch, meaning of that you want an answer to your personal questions, that will be a subject of a private reading. And for such, uh, you can check out my website, uh, <clears throat> which is listed down below in the description of uh, this video. And there you can find a, a full list of my services um, as well as uh, their pricings. Because as I said, this as a general reading uh, resonating in a different way <clears throat> with every single different Scorpio, meaning that you will have to align it to your uh, personal situation so you can make it a little bit more personal, just like I'm doing with the few examples I'm going to give you in this uh, video. So cutting now the cards and the first card for you, Scorpio, which is marking the topic of your week that is going to be the death card do you know what the death card is guys that is the scorpio representative in the tarot deck <clears throat> so the next one which is the a negative approach toward the situation you can take that is going to be the magician the third card it's regards to the positive approach that you are going to take or you can take toward the death card that is to be the six of swords and the last card that is the outcome of growth uh, should you follow here the guidance of uh, of tarot right that will be the nine of pentacles so once again death card followed by the magician third one this is going to be the six of swords and the next one that is going to be the nine of pentacles so this is going to be a pretty straightforward week for what it seems just from these cards um <clears throat> it does look like that in this week uh, things are going to change for you uh in which fields uh it will be different as i said for every single one of you but just from the overlook of uh, of this reading it does look like that the change is going to to start happening in um, a bit of a disturbing fashion in a sense of that you may start feeling uh, a bit of insecure for the uh, future of that field that this change is taking on but uh, <clears throat> if you have a little bit more clamorous belief for the uh, good unfoldment of the situation you will realize that in reality there is nothing for you to be afraid of that is just the overview but going deeper into the cards the first one which is the topic of the week that is the card of change the death card so <clears throat> for those who does not know anything about tarot death does not mean actual death death here in the card we do see a scene with the four horsemen of the of the apocalypse which is the death so what the horsemen of the uh, horsemen of the apocalypse are signifying they are signifying change so war comes around then it's the famine then it is the pestilence and at the end death comes around to collect who could not persevere through this process so at its place another life to take place and as you can see here in the scene as well you know one emperor is dead but the other one takes its place which means that this ain't gonna be the end of the world whatever change is to happen to you <clears throat> now uh if i have to associate myself with this card i would uh, it's it's a very petite thing for me that caused me a little bit of um, discomfort uh, basically, my elect uh, my electrical shaver broke due to you know me shaving myself, and that's obviously a thing that died. So I have to replace it. So tomorrow I'm going to buy myself a a new generation electrical shavers. So my point is that this change could take into a very petite field, but it could be as well as very big one, like changing partners into one relationship or changing jobs. The thing, my point for you, Scorpio, is that whatever <clears throat> throughout this week wants to walk away from you, let's say your partner into your relationship wants to walk away from you, um, with this card and with the next one, which is the magician, these two are very tightly connecting to one another. 
uh, they are telling you that you should not you shouldn't try to stop them because as i said one thing dies or one thing is no longer in present in your life but another similar takes its place so if it is about your relationship let's say and your partner wants to walk away just let them be let them go away because a, a new one comes very very soon or <clears throat> A new relationship much more better than this one is going to take its place but it will require a, a clamorous belief that this is to happen so in other words you shouldn't panic for where this change is to start happen so what are the properties of these change uh, of that change usually <clears throat> when the debt manifests it takes away a thing that no longer serves you any favor. So if we go with the relationship example, um, in this relationship you have, uh, you are constantly fighting, there is no sexual activity anymore in there, and basically the whole um, time spent with one another is filled with tension and with poignancy in there. So obviously this relationship serves you and nothing uh, serve you no longer, therefore <clears throat> uh, it is uh, beneficial for you to let it go right now when the death is around because don't make mistake here you can borrow its time no problem with this card because this card is rather a bit conditional uh, meaning of that so you can definitely struggle against it but if you do so the fool's journey continues which means that the next card that comes around that is going to be the temperance and followed by the devil and followed by the tower and when the tower comes around you cannot borrow time any longer and if you think that right now departing or separating for that thing that serves no longer favor to you it's going to be painful my god wait the tower to come around and you will feel the true pain of it i mean it's going to be a hundred times more disturbing than it is right now so the the whole process here of the death card for throughout the week is to, um, how can I place it? Uh, you basically need to recognize what is good for you, okay? What, <clears throat> or to recognize what can go for a long run. And uh, this thing that wants to walk away from your life, either an enterprise, achievement, relationship, or a career project, you name it, uh, simply cannot be developed any further. The death says that what is done is done, Furthering it, it's, it will be just stressful, yielding no results, what, yielding what, no results whatsoever, and a futile. The temperance come around and we do form passive enemies here. So the temperance points that you can face the death of in a very, very milder fashion if you adopt a balanced standpoint, meaning of that you should not go to the extreme. Trying to borrow time of one thing, it is truly an extreme measures feeling despondent and like it is the end of the world because you are figuratively speaking losing something seems very drastic uh very drastic measures it is because you kind of like lose your clamorous belief so it's all about <clears throat> maintaining your clamorous belief that this thing whatever it is walking away from your life is going to be substituted with similar uh, enterprise but this time around much better with much more room to unfold and to grow as well now with the temperance uh it does uh, how can i place it it does point that there could be some unresolved matters in between you and that thing that wants to walk away or wants to change in your life so even if it is a bit of a um <clears throat> accompany it with a, with a sense of stagnation to do so let's say it's about the partner that wants to walk away but you st but they still have things in your place and they want to come and collect them you know that is accompanied with stagnation you should allow them to do so just for example basically you should not um, neglect chores to be accomplished just because uh, you can see that this Thing cannot be proceed any further but you need to be clear in front of the karma if I may express myself that way and do your part in it the next card which is the uh, negative approach toward the situation that is going to be uh, the magician and the magician says that you, the worst thing you can do here is negotiate your way through it or in a sense of negotiate the um, the time barrel of uh, of this undertaking so <clears throat> 
if we are following the example, your partner into a relationship wants to walk away, you start negotiating uh, the rules of what if he stays or she stays around, right? And throw all of your efforts, all of your um, means as well and determination into the direction, saving something that just doesn't want to be saved, okay? So in that particular sense here, the magician <clears throat> asks you to basically keep yourself quiet and an un initiative as well, conserve your resources for the better opportunity that it is coming around and such will at the end of the week with the nine of pentacles. But we're gonna talk about that in a bit of, uh, uh, in a few minutes. So the magician as a, um, as a card point that you have to be rather more, what is the word here guys, um, passive. Okay, you got to be more passive regarding the situation. Just let it develop the way the, it, it, in its natural way, because when the death comes, the change is very natural for you and for your life as well. So you are to lose your job. That is the natural way that things are supposed to happen because a better job awaits you. All right. You are to lose your relationship. That is the natural way the things to happen because you're going to substitute it with a better relationship and so on and so forth. Therefore, with the magician, once again, you should restrict yourself on making actions toward conserving, borrowing time or negotiating your way for um, sustainability of this enterprise, which is falling into ruin, which is changing and which wants to uh, basically walk away and not be part of your life any longer. Additionally to that, the magician, it's, it's a card pointing that, um, how can I place it? Mm. You should be open for many other varieties in a sense of that uh, not to be biased of expectations, what is going to be the substitution of this, uh, of this enterprise, which is changing in your life, which is basically taken away and, um, uh, it is kind of like replaced with a, a similar one because I'm saying similar one in a grand scheme of thing like uh, your old job get replaced with a new one. But this new job could involve, uh, you know, expectations or rather criteria that you are yet to figure out how to fill up. All right. And that will be the ch it's not even the challenge, but that is going to be the amusing thing here uh, because um, I just want to tell you those words. They are Latin, but what the dead really says is that, well, the Latin words are like this, vita mutator non tolitor, which means life changes, it's not taken away, all right? So you got to be open for surprises, that's the thing. And with the Three of Cups here falling into Catalyst to the Magician, what we do have is active neutrals. Uh, it means that it will be best if you associate yourself with... Um, with people, all right? Kind of like try to spend more time with faithful companions, friends, families as well, and so on and so forth. People which are exterior to the situation, which is changing because they are really going to expand your vision, Scorpio. And even if that thing which is changing, it kind of appears very, very poignant for you, uh, associating yourself, cooperating with these people through the expansion of your vision, uh, they will make you aware that that's not really the end of the world and uh, the life is yet to get better. I mean, the best is yet to come because this is your case here. It's just the start of the week. It could be a little bit, you know, poignant. And yet again, it may refer to something as meaningless as, as I give my example of myself, my electri electrical shaver broke while I was shaving myself. So that is a, a thing of change as well. One thing, you know, walks away and another is to replace it because I'm going tomorrow, like I said, to buy myself a, a new one. Uh, so going for the next card here, which is uh, the positive approach you can take toward the situation, that is the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords represents you sitting on a threshold of a, an important transition, an important transformation, just like the Death card says, which means that you are going to place it. Um, you may not be very aware what follows up next, what is to come next. 
If we are following the example of relationship breaking here throughout this week, it's it's normal, all right? Not knowing, uh, am I going to am I going to meet someone else? Am I going to be alone? And are we going to reconcile and so on and so forth? But um, the six of swords, basically, what it does display is that a, a people here are walking away from rather uh, unfortunate times to explore new shores. What is on these new shores? No one knows, all right? So they are making a steps toward the unknown. But in the same time, they have the courage to make the necessary actions to improve these, their circumstances in the sense of the walking away from a poignant enterprise, which they know to be poignant, in fact, toward an enterprise that they don't know what is going to be, but there is a, a chance that this enterprise is going to be um, it's going to be fortunate one. So basically, these cards are that specific card here as the positive approach toward the situation is to embrace the change. Do not be afraid of it. Even if it even if it is appear that it's going to be a threshold that leads you toward completely unknown direction. That direction or that uh, this new path that you are to take, it has much better outlook than the path that you are currently following, whether that is strain, it strains you uh, from it. The accompanied card that is going to be the Ten of Swords here. So what we do have is active supporters and it will require a, a rather drastic measures from your behalf and some irreversible actions, uh, irreversible yeah, actions and irrevocable decisions of you to take uh, so you can provoke a new era in your life. But in a positive position, the Ten of Swords says that the transformation happening should not be fought against and should not be resisted, but it needs to be allowed to happen. By the way, the Ten of Swords falling here, it says that this transformation, especially being poignant, is going to last for a very, very short time, like a couple of days to a week, the very, very maximum. But as you're, um, as you're finding yourself in the, dark in, in the darkest days here, should you uh, do what is necessary as the swords are displayed in the back of the person because the swords re uh, are representing through basically information, analytic mind, and in this case, these irrevocable decision to basically do what is necessary to traverse the threshold, which is causing a great deal of fear in you, then you are going to provoke a new dawn in your life. It's basically the darkest days are now over and you can start in, um, in clear sky, if I may express myself that way. But once again, the appearance of that change that it is that it is happening should not be a prerequisite for you Scorpios to feel bad, to feel poignant, and to feel like the world is ending and to believe in the doom and gloom. But instead, you need to have the clamorous belief that the best is yet to come and do these, <clears throat> how can I place it? Uh, mm, determined actions to improve your circumstances toward that unknown direction, okay? And should you do so, guys, what we do have is the Nine of Pentacles. Huge amounts of joy and content is about to uh, infiltrate your life at the end of the week. An opportunity for big conquest. So that could be the appearance of the big fish into your private world with a possibility of making that long-term relationship, all right? Or it could be the job that you have waited for until this very moment, which is very, very possible because the Nine of Pentacles, it does speak for lucrative maneuvers, success into one business, contentment into relationships with others, and at the very, very least, it means that you are going to be self-sufficient, all right? So everything that you did that made you afraid of doing steps forward, now yield results and make you much, much more confident than before. In addition to it, that is going to be the Four of Swords, which uh, form here a passive enemies. And basically these cards are pointing that you are gonna stir all of your life. You no longer are going to be hesitant uh, of 
how to achieve your success, how to make lucrative or happy conquests, like I said, and how to make great achievements possible for yourself as well. Uh, to me, what it looks like is that a, a long developed plan finally is going to have the opportunity to be manifested. This is how it looks like to me. And I very well know what these cards refer to me. I don't know if I'm going to do it because we're talking about possibilities here. That is given to you as a possibility, but you may decide not, you may decide not to act on it. But definitely at the end of the week, should you give yourself a way to the change that it is incorporating itself in your life, uh, definitely a, a lot of room or a lot of paths for you are going to be cleared and you can have the opportunity to make, like I said, a, a severe conquest. But just because we do have these couple of cards at the end, it means that it, we, it will be a very busy near future for you should you go down that road. And uh, basically at the end of the week, you need to have your plan. I mean, uh, creating your plan as you go after this week shouldn't be an option available for you because uh, it, it, the whole situation or the people that you're going to work with or the new partner of yours will uh, pretty much kind of like make an impression from your confidence. So you got to show uh, or exert a big amount of confidence that you very well know what you're doing and the very best is that you are not feeling feeling regretful that you substitute them or this thing for the one that walked away in the start of the week. So that being said, Scorpio, this was your weekly tarot reading for March 4th to March 10th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, this was a general reading for Scorpio star sign. And for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different Scorpio. If you want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation, personal questions to be answered by me using tarot cards and giving you prediction for your future, that is a subject of a private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now, see you around. Bye!